cook um, striped bass. It's a whole fish. I every time I walk by the seafood place in Costco, I just can't resist getting one of these. One thing that I want to mention about um, choosing a fish, I always ask the guy to, to open the gill for me. As you can see, this fish has a pretty red gill that's a little bit bleeding. So that's an indication of the fish was just cleaned and gilled. Otherwise, the, the gill will look like grayish. And um, the good thing about you getting this, these fish from Costco is that they're pretty cleaned already. Look, it's dripping blood, so that's great. And um, the scales are mostly off, but when I clean it, I still just scratch a little bit um, to make sure the, the scales are all off. And with the whole fish, usually I like my fish to be very flavored. So as you can see, I have all these strong flavor on the table. What I'm going to use is my favorite um, fava bean paste, Sichuan style. You get these from the Chinese market. This is the cooking rice wine. You get them from the uh, Asian market also. This is the vinegar, rice vinegar brown. Also, you can get them from the Chinese market. I've got my soy sauce, my sugar, cooking oil, vegetable oil, salt. And here I have a few pieces of uh, ginger that I already took the peel off. And then minced garlic, about a tablespoonful. And um, diced uh, green onions. This one is uh, starch. Um, I use tapioca starch, but you can use any starch. Corn starch is fine. So what I do is put a, a teaspoonful here and add some cold water to um, mix it up. I'm going to use it to thicken the uh, sauce later. And tapioca starch you can get from Asian market also. And then I have my chicken broth. So now I'm going to wash to clean the fish. What I do, just rinse it off in the cold water. And you want to get rid of the skill. Oh, okay, well, I need my scissors. I just, what I do is just cut it off. You open it up and cut off the gill. On the side, um, close to the mouth, it's the thinner side where you can, it's easy to cut off. So this is the one side and then I turn it to the other side. Do the same thing, cut it off from the end. There, the gill is off. And I just um, feel through the skin, there's a couple of scales left. I just scratch it off like this, but you can also get a tool, there's a scaling tool that you can use to help you get, get it off, get the scales off easy. Look, there are a few of these. The fresh fish, the scales are actually very tight on the skin. It's not easy to get off. So if you get like a live fish, you want to get a tool. I use my knife. I use my knife for anything, but um, a tool would be easier. Here, I feel a few more. Scratch it off, take it off. 
And you don't want to work your way through the scales to get to the fish meat later. Open up the stomach, make sure all the uh, leftover little nasty things are cleaned out because they have a weird flavor. All right, I got this fish cleaned up and then I'm just gonna dry it with a paper towel. Right with paper towel and I'm gonna to process it on my fish board. Alright. There we go. Process. For the fish, um, usually because they're so bland, you want the flavor to get in them. So what I do is to cut a couple of lines on the fish back. This way when it cooks, the flavor will be able to go in on both sides. And you, I do it in a slanted 45 degree angle because the fish is not so thick. If you cut it straight down, you just get to the bone there. And um, I add a little bit of salt. On both sides. And then um, I'm gonna fry it, but before I fry it, I add a little bit of um, tapioca starch on both sides. This way it doesn't the skin doesn't really stick to the pan. Much easier to cook that way. Both side. There. I guess that's a total about a half a teaspoonful. You don't want to have too much, then the the um, sauce is going to be too thick and. All right, the fish is prepared, and then I'm going to fire up the stove and start frying it. I'm turning the stove on pretty high heat for, let's see, I want it to be kind of covered at the bottom of the pan with oil. Uh, I want to say that's maybe a quarter of a cup of oil and then I'm going to fry the fish. Probably for about five minutes each side. Let's see. I want it to be kind of crispy and light brown before I add sauce and cook it. Alright, the, the fish has been frying there for about five minutes. I'm gonna turn it over to make it a little easier. If the oil doesn't splash as much, I turn off the fire. And now I'm going to turn it over. You have to do this gently and the fish tend to break. There. See that golden color is beautiful. Let's push this down a little bit. And I'm going to turn on the fire. Do the same thing. Medium Hi, I, I, my fire is about three quarters for another five minutes. Okay, the other side, the second side, has been fried for about another five minutes. I'm going to turn off the fire. The fish is ready to be cooked in a sauce. I turn off the fire, just let it stay for a little bit so that's not flapping anymore. The 
um, oil has stopped splashing, I'm going to take out the fish. Again, you, you want to be a little careful not to break the thing. And this oil is a little bit too much for cooking the next step. So I am going to discard or just take some of the oil out and leave about uh, half of it in the pan to use to cook the sauce. Okay, that's about half left. So I think there's about a tablespoonful left in there. What I'm going to do, turn on the fire. And I'm going to add my ginger. The fire is on a medium high. My garlic. And I'm going to get a full tablespoonful of my fava bean paste. a full tablespoonful of it and cook this mixture in medium high for a couple of minutes when you smell the garlic and the salva bean paste flavor coming out then we'll put the fish back in and start cooking it All right, I can start smelling it already. So, actually I'm going to put uh, everything in there. Add the chicken stock, the whole can of it. I can turn on the fire on high, back on high, so that it will boil soon. And um, our soy sauce. For this fish, I probably add about two tablespoonful. Some rice wine. It doesn't matter, I add about one spoon one tablespoon more or so but you can add more if you like it to have a stronger wine flavor a little bit of rice vinegar about one tablespoon full and sugar There's one tablespoon full. I, I, I like it a bit sweet, so another half. And I'm going to put the fish back in there. As you can see, the whole sauce or broth is starting to boil already. Once it starts to boil pretty strong I'm going to put the, I'm going to reduce the fire to medium and cook it for about I say 20 minutes on each side I'm going to put the cover on and yeah it's boiling so reduce the fire to medium I'm going to cook it for about 15 minutes 15 to 20, I'll see. Maybe 20 minutes, the, the, the fish is kind of big. Okay, the uh, fish has been cooked on one side for about 20 minutes on medium heat. And I'm gonna flip it to the other side so that it can be even in flavor. Now this one is even trickier than before because it's more cooked than softer now. Oh man, this is going to be a task. Let's see. There we go. Yes. 
All right, you can see on this side, the fish is pretty well cooked. The meat is turning a little bit brown. And I would think it's the flavor has been getting in. So uh, now I flipped it. I'm gonna cook the other side for about 20 minutes on medium heat. Already 20 minutes cooked on the second side. Now you can see the sauce has been reduced. I'm gonna turn this off first, even though I'm not completely done. And I'm going to take the fish out. Let's see, it's more getting more challenging every time I try to move the fish because it's so cooked and soft now. Oh, oh, let's see. Okay, let's put it on the fish pan. Good, it's not broken. And this sauce here, I'm going to thicken it a little bit more. So I'm turning the fire back on. It's um, medium high. I'm going to put in my um, most of my diced onion, green onion, and this was the the uh, starch with water. Well, it's been sitting there for a while, so the starch has sink to the bottom. So I'm stirring it up a little bit. Oh, the fire is getting too high, so medium, because I need a little bit of time to stir this and mix it well with the water. Ah, let's see. Okay, now it's mixed. This is what I use to thicken the sauce in many recipes. Okay, now we have this thickened. I am just going to pour it in. I pour it in half and let's see how it goes. Looks pretty good. And um, okay, the sauce has been cooked for well you just want it to boil, that's all. There. Boiling. And I am just going to add this. I turn off the fire and I'm just going to add it to my fish. I usually don't like the ginger slices on the fish. So uh, try not to get the ginger. has thickened quite beautifully. Sometimes you may have a little bit extra, you don't have to use the whole thing. But uh, in this case it's quite good. My fish was a little over a pound. That's the time that I said to cook this. If in case it's a little smaller of course you reduce it a little bit. decoration I am just going to put my last bit of uh, green onion on it there we go the fish looks pretty nice I don't like that fish tail to be tugged in let's untug it there we go thank you for watching Chinese, it tells you that if you want to live to 